Okay guys, this video I'm going to show you how to set up a support ticket in your WordPress website. The first thing you need to do is uh, you go to the plugin there, you, you add new, and then you uh, type best customer uh, service, this one. This one previously, uh, the known as WP ticket but recently they changed their name so it is one okay I, I, I already uh, installed it so right now I activate it after you activate uh, okay after you activate you need to set up a few pages so uh, basically uh, we only have seven steps to do we already complete the first one install the WP ticket and then right now we proceed with the second step the second step uh, set up pages okay set up pages this one uh, will show the support ticket uh, uh, portal so what you need to do is you go to the pages you add new or you can also add it into existing pages uh, 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 in some particular function that you want okay this one is a uh, support ticket I just put this support ticket then this one is the short code you can put the short code there okay this one so this one is the uh, layout so the second second page you need to set up is uh, you go to the form here WP ticker you go to the form here and then this one is for the search ticker page you need to embed this one so repeat the pros process again search ticket you create a page for search ticket okay so you use this short code the third page you need to create is open a uh, ticket page so you repeat the process again open a ticket paste the short code so right now we have three pages right now open the ticket this one is the layout search ticket this one is the layout and then uh, another page for the support ticket okay the support ticket because uh, right now we don't have any support ticket so this uh, this uh, is temporarily blank so the third step you need to do is change status okay change status you go to the tic uh, ticket there you click on status okay if uh, by default this plugin will create uh, something for you uh, close in process open I think the default one is uh, good enough but if you want to add uh, anything extra you can do it here and then the four set number four is change the priority you go to the priority you can uh, add additional priority for your ticket by default this plugin also will create a few for you like for example the critical the major minor normal for for your client to choose but the default one I uh, personally I think is good enough so let's proceed with uh, step number five set up topic okay this one you click on the topic okay you need to set up a topic for the for your client to submit the ticket to for example okay let me show you for, for example uh, name chip name chip is uh, selling a uh, domain name and hosting so they will have a few you, you see they will have a few category for the knowledge base uh, and then if people uh, search the knowledge base can't find the answer they they will uh, submit a ticket but the, uh, the ticket there uh, will have a category for them to submit to so I guess uh, right now I just pick a few example to show you how to do that and then okay let's pick the checkout and billing the checkout billing because uh, I I guess this one is uh, is is good for every site because uh, if you are selling something 
I think you need to create this category. If people have trouble with the checkout process or the billing process, okay, check out, check out and billing. So let's create the topic checkout. And billing. The slug you can leave it there. Uh, the system will auto create for you. But if uh, if you want something unique, uh, you can also change the slug here. So let's pick. Okay, affiliate. If your store is selling something and uh, you 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 have your own affiliate, I I think this uh, this topic is good enough. Okay, we are step number six. Add agent. So right now we need to add the agent. Uh, this this step actually is uh, optional. Uh, if uh, but if your side you you have a uh, hire someone to reply the support ticket for you, uh, you can add add them the f all you need to do is the usual way you need to go to the user part okay then you add new you just put their name maybe I put uh, my uh, Roger and then you, you put their email then you choose the role the role is agent then you add new okay this one is the agent for your support ticket then you also you also need to do it here you click the add new agent this one is Roger Roger Tan Roger Tan you put their name and then they you, you choose from the user that you created just now and then you can put their email, you can put their phone, you can put their extension, you can put a mobile as well. So you click publish. So you go back to the ticket tabs, ticket tabs, click on agent, you see it. this one. This one is the agent. So uh, let's say uh, you want to assign okay you want to assign okay let me show you something you want to assign the ticket to the agent okay let's uh, preview it live we go back to the pages there open the ticket page let's say I submit the ticket right now affiliate A A B B B B this one I put 999 just on the agent is uh, 88 the subject okay affiliate uh, can I get a buck can I get a good discount if I send you more than 10 10 leads Critic, uh, then people can choose the priority from here this one is is created by us uh, the topic also created by us then they choose the due date they submit okay thank you for your submission okay so in our site we will see this you see all ticket this one the ticket number their name uh, their attachment we are the admin we are able to see this so let's say I want to assign this ticket to an agent I just need to create the connection here create the connection here just now the agent we created is this one so we choose the agent and then we click the connection and we click update so that agent will be able to see this support ticket in, uh, in their dashboard okay the, so the uh, six step we already done we only left one more step this one is a uh, technically is a uh, optional is to change the not notification email what you need to do is you go to the WP ticket there the notification <coughs> if you want to change the uh, the, the text uh, the message you can do it here 
new ticket assigned and new ticket. Uh, you can do it here. Okay, thank you very much.